All right, guys, good morning. Weather is not pretty out here, but we're at our first bait shop. Not bait shop, <laughs> might as well be a bait shop. Bait spot, and we got a bunch of fresh shad in here. So that's what we're gonna use for bait. I do got some Kool-Aid hot dogs on the side. Might try that out there. But yeah, we're gonna get some lines out with some fresh shad, see what we can get hooked up on. See you out there. All right, believe it or not, this is actually not a creek. This is a river and it is super low. Um, I'm kind of walking to the spot where I'm gonna fish and I'm sitting here thinking, man, look at these roots on these trees. One, it's cool how deep they go, but I can see a lot of them and it's making me kind of wonder, it would really suck to die from a tree falling on you. There's something about that I just really don't trust, but let's walk past it. We'll fish over here where there's still trees that can hit you but not as many so this is where we're gonna stop and this is where we're gonna fish so let's see how this goes i have really good bait but i don't have an ideal spot spot does not look great but we've already drove out here we've already committed to it so this is what we're gonna fish putting this first bait on so I'm actually feeling kind of optimistic because I'm seeing fish pretty sure that was a flathead I just saw surface right here so we're gonna throw a little piece of shad head on a Santee Cooper rig and hope we uh, hope we can hook up or something Let's see how it goes Let's try to pitch this one right All right, so I got three lines with cut bait, shad, hot dog, shad, but I am gonna tie on. I know this is not a creek, this is a river, and I have no experience with white bass fishing, so if anybody wants to put me on, comment or let me know, but I'm gonna try to catch maybe a white bass, maybe, I don't know really what else in here will eat this, maybe a regular bass, but I mean, not really in rivers. Normally in little creeks you catch white bass, and right now is the season, so I know they eat this, so I'm gonna throw it around, see if I can maybe get lucky, hook up on something. Fish. Oh, yeah. Am I recording? I got numbers? Do I got numbers? Numbers? Yes. No. No. What was it? No. No. Right here on the screen. Dang. I should have set the hook harder. Yeah. Dang. It looked gray. It looked like a cat. It was gray. What'd you have on that one? The shed? Head? Shed. That's long ago. Well, I know I'm doing something right. I know, I know. No, it's cool. It doesn't matter. I got him in time. I just didn't set the hook hard enough. Alright, I just missed a bite. I don't I, I'm I'm kinda whispering because I don't want to spook nothing. Don't know if that's even a thing, but that's how we're gonna approach it. Alright, let's rebait. Okay, the bites are happening right now. There is fish here. Okay, we're gonna wait. Let's wait. Let me know if you see it. Claudia is my watch. She just saw that hot dog line get bit. 
So she was kind of, she was trying to warn me. I was over here baiting up. It may have took the bait. I don't know though. But let's get this one back out real quick while we wait. Oh! We're on, boys. We're on, boys. We're on. Oh, he's good. He's good. Oh my god, it's a gar. It's a gar. Holy moly. He's barely hooked. He's gonna get off. Oh, I don't even have my lasso with me. Yeah, yeah, be careful. Yeah, be careful though. Because that hook may fly out. I don't want it to hook to hit you in the face. That's crazy, guys. <laughs> he got off. <laughs> it's okay. I honestly didn't want to land that. It would have been more of a hassle if anything. But we saw that. We got a nice gar. Yeah, it's because I only have 30 pound line on here. I'm not fishing for gar, I'm fishing for cats. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. A little gar hanging out in here. That was, that was an alligator gar. Really, really cool. Not mad about losing that fish at all. I can't. I count it as a catch because it was right here. I honestly was in no. I had no urgency to land that, so I'm glad it happened that way. Pretty dang cool, though, man. Pretty dang cool. Man, that's pretty dang cool. All right, let's retie on. <laughs> let's go. Oh my God, this is big. Oh, I think it's another gar. It's a gar. Yep. I have a circle hook on here and 30 pound line, so he's definitely gonna break off. I don't even know how he's even hooked. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. He's, look at that. With the freaking circle hook. All right, careful, I don't wanna. Look at his spotted tail. Mm-hmm. Yep, I got him. Come on out here, buddy. I just need you to slide up there for me. There we go. Is he gonna break? I got him. There you go. There we go. All right. He's good, you don't have to worry about him. He's not gonna get away. <sighs> All right, let me get my... <laughs> how rude of him, right? So how rude of him. All right, let's see. We're rolling, look at that. I'm, I'm out here catfishing, guys. I'm not even going for gar. And look at this beautiful gar we just caught. We lost one earlier. All right, we're well, right back to the board we go. Hold on. Nah, he's good. All right. Let's try this again. Without him getting spooked this time. Look at his tail. Not, I mean, gar season's gonna start for me soon, but I'm not gar fishing. I'm cat fishing. It's the second gar we caught. 30 pound line, one two watt circle hook, super small hook. All right, let's get the hook out. Keep twisting. Okay. There we go, guys. Whew. All right. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. I know, I know, I know, I know. We just want to take some pictures. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Slippery bastard. Look at that thing. Pretty. Oh, all right, let's get him in the water. I don't want to hold him out any longer. He needs to be here. Look at that thing. All right, I'm just going to slide him in. All right, we're gonna let him go. Look at this tail. Spotted tail. All right, let's let him go. Ah, yes. 
Beautiful. We love that. My hair's a mess, but we got a fish. Happy I didn't get skunked. It's been super active out here. Lost a cat earlier, lost a gar earlier. Now we finally landed one. Big success. He ate on a piece of shad. I think it was a body. I don't know, maybe it was a head. I'm pretty sure it was a body, but yeah. Let's get some more lines out. All right, so the line he just bit on, I was using the Santee Cooper rig, but this line was set out for just a small cat. So it had like a one or two watt cheap little, and I'll show you, laser sharp circle C hooks. Those may even be a, a size bigger because these are three. But anyways, look what he did to that, to that little hook. Basically turned it into a full circle. That is insane. I mean, I get a circle hook supposed to be arched, but not like that. That was some real power behind that fish. Even the small ones, man, so strong. I think the reason why we're getting a lot of guard though is because of Santee Cooper rig. Santee Cooper rig essentially lets your weight be at the bottom and that little float allows your bait to float in the middle. So it's kind of putting it right in their face versus them like going to the bottom to feed. It's just right there. But all right, now I got to retie, but thought that was crazy. Poor hook. <laughs> All right, quick uh, halftime report. Maybe it's a halftime report, maybe it's a final report. All depends on if we catch more fish, but uh, we've still, we've been, out, we've been out here probably about 30, 45 minutes since our last catch, which was that gar. Um, oh my God, I'm gonna bite, I'm gonna bite. Over here, I'm gonna bite, oh my God. This rod right here is getting bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, never mind. Uh, thought I was gonna bite. Rod was bouncing and then nothing just committed to it. So I went to check the line and waited a few minutes to see if he'd come back for it. It didn't. So I wrote it in and bait was still there. So I don't know. Still, I've only caught that one gar. We've missed out on like two or three fish. Um, we've hooked up on three fish, but we've only landed one. I think the first one was a catfish. But yeah, like I said, we're prepped for catfish. We're, we've been hitting gar. So it's kind of made it a little bit difficult, but it feels good out here. We're going to continue fishing. Don't know how much longer I'll be out here. Depends what the bite looks like, but see you on the other side. Oh yeah, we're on, oh, he's massive. Oh my God. He's massive. Oh my God. He was massive. He was massive. He snapped me clean off. Okay, well, now I know. Next time I come out here, I need a prep for Gar. Cause I'm over here trying to catfish and <laughs> I'm getting nothing but gar. That was crazy. Yeah, that was big. Literally came straight out the water. Wow, I was bigger than the one I just caught. Yeah, okay. I know this is gonna sound bad, but Lord, can we please just get a cat? <laughs> the dinosaurs are cool, but when I'm prepped, I'm, I'm only out here with catfish rigs. I maybe got some 50 pound line I could tie on to see if that holds up better, but. Dang, that was crazy. That sucker came clean out the water. What a day. All right, can't even keep a line in the water. I'm retying, this is what we're using. Little piece of shad. Like I said, this is for catfish, man. I got 30 pound line on here. I got some 65 pound braid as the main line, but my leader's only a 30 pound mono. because so I'm out here for cats, I'm using a four out Gamagatsu hook. The hook holds up, it's just the line is not holding up. So if I do hook up on another one, I may loosen up my drag to hopefully avoid him just instantly snapping off. But, all right, let's get some lines out. Oh. Wanted to show y'all something real quick. Uh -uh. Look at this, Claudia's out here catching little critters. Little inchworm. I don't know if it's really focused. Does it turn around so? See it moving. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh God. No, it, it came out of its mouth. No. Ah. I'm striking out on him right now. I'm gonna move this seat. Out there. Oh shoot. Gar. 
Yeah. Oh. Except that gar. Except that gar I just lost. Because <laughs> we were going home. Yeah, that was a little one. Yeah, I, he didn't feel heavy at all. He was probably barely hooked. Yeah. But, all right. Looks like we're going to wrap it up. We got one gar, not too shabby. River was good to us. Kind of low, but we made the most out of this trip. Like I said, didn't expect to catch gar, so did not have the correct tackle for that. Um, but we did get two surprises. One being a gar, two being Claudia. She came out here to fish with us, so that was a pleasant surprise. So was the gar. I wish I would have been prepared for the gar, but it's all good. We landed one. We lost like two or three. We just lost one here at the bank right as we were getting ready to pack it up. Picked up the bait, went with it. But he dropped it. He was a small one. It's officially gar season here in Texas. Um, so I guess it's time to get the tackle ready. Start heading out to the river. Come out here and fish for some real, some real alligator gar. Some big ones, not small ones like the ones we just saw today. Some like five, six, seven foot gar. Some real true Texas river monsters. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. It's been your boy JMA. We're gonna wrap it up. Till next time, God bless and peace out.